So what is a custom build? Pre-builds are what you normally see when you walk into Best Buy, uh, you look on Amazon for a computer, laptops and all that stuff. Pre-builds. A manufacturer, you can hear the words OEM tossed out there. Uh, Dell, uh, Alienware, Razer, uh, these are companies that go out there and they've already chosen the part list and they build it in a pre-designed setup. Uh, you don't really need a lot of choice. Well, some manufacturers let you choose graphics cards or processor. You're, you're buying the look that they sell. When you do custom builds, you choose every piece and part. Um, and that all comes into be mean that you have to take more care about why you chose it. Uh, enthusiast is a term that you can hear a lot. You are a hardware enthusiast when you start getting into the separate world. Uh, and it can be a hobby. And that's another thing that you can hear a lot. Well, it's a hobby. It's also it can be a very expensive hobby. Um, but you can buy and build good machines that don't cost $3,000. Most people don't need $3,000 computers. Uh, they assume they do, they look on uh, these other YouTubers and they talk about these high-end gaming machines, these high-end items, and they spent $4,000 to do this build. Uh, or they start talking about like Threadripper builds or really high-end i9 builds, and just the CPU costs $2,000. Uh, you know, we're talking about $10,000 machines. Most people don't actually need that. Uh, a ten thousand dollar machine that has like five hundred gigs of RAM and a threader for it has a specific purpose. That machine is normally used for what we call a workstation. Um, your graphics processor, your editing, uh, people who are designing content and need massive amounts of power, CAD, engineers, they will use those separate machines. On the high end, like gaming rigs, where they start talking about the, like the i9s, 10,000 series, or the Razer 3950Xs, 3900Xs, uh, those sit on the top of the line uh, of what a custom PC build will normally be. Your middle ground is going to be like your i5s, your Ryzen 5s, your Ryzen 7s. Uh, most people only need 16 gigabytes of RAM. You don't need 32 gigs, 64 gigs to do game. Period. You just don't need it. Uh, most systems would be perfectly happy with 16 gigs. Hiring computers, uh, like the editing machine that's sitting behind me, that's decked out with a little bit of RGB with dual monitors. Uh, this is running on a 3900, 3950X uh, and 64 gigs RAM. But its intended purpose is digital art. So it does need more. You need that more because it needs quicker processing time to be able to process these larger files that gaming and other things don't really involve. So when you do custom builds, I keep on seeing this, you have to have an idea of what you're trying to do before you start buying. Uh, if you're doing gaming, you're going to look for parts that are in that middle of the line, as I said, i5, i7, i9, uh, the higher the number there, the more you're going to spend money on it. Um, you're going to think, take consideration cooling, and you'll notice I don't have any cooling parts up here for this build. And that has to deal with this case. Um, this case has all that built into it. So I don't need to have a cooler because it already has a pre built in water cooler. It doesn't need a power supply because the power supply is built into the case. I can change those out and customize them even more, but we're not going to do that for this one. Not at this time. You choose your motherboard by what capabilities your processor has. And you choose your motherboard by what capabilities your processor has and what type of items you're going to connect to. So if you're going to go for latest and greatest, you want the motherboard that's fully capable of handling the latest and greatest. Like I was saying, this is a PCI 4 capable card. So we want to have that capability. Size, shape, design, 
There's all kinds of cool things. You can 3D print your own case. Right now you can go onto Etsy and buy a case design and you can sit at home with a 3D printer and print it off. There are companies out there in the US that have designs that they built that will custom print your 3D uh, case in any color or material that will suit for it. So if you want this specialized clear case, um, you could do that. You could buy a completely clear case that's custom and then put your custom parts into it. Also, a whole bunch of other things that you can do when we talk about customization. We can put custom cable mods, which is when we start talking about coloring the cables that connect things, uh, power supply to the motherboard, power supply to the uh, graphics card. We can put custom colors for those. And there's actually a whole market out there where you can buy the individual sleeves and build your own cable. That's a market. There are people out there who would spend the money on that we're talking 90 to $100 for a set of cables that normally become part of the power supply and build the perfect length so there's no excess cable, so it's all one clean run. You can build custom laptops. Uh, that's going to be more of a market nowadays where you can actually sit there and build your own custom laptop, order the screen a specific size and attach it. Um, you can create yourself like a suitcase uh, computer, you're only limited by what your funding source is and how much time you're willing to put into it. Uh, you've seen all types of crazy things out there right now. Uh, there's a scorpion chair that is starting to make its way through all the social medias that some of you have, might have seen, where you have this chair with three monitors that you can light into it and the monitors come up and over you, kind of like in Kunyu in this chair that also does massages for you while you play your video games. So there's a lot you can do. Keep that in mind. Anything that we talk about and we kind of move forward with is just something I'm trying to do. I have a vision in my mind of what it's coming out to. If you start building custom, create an idea of what you want, and then start looking for that. All right. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, over the next set of videos, I'm going to kind of talk about every single piece, kind of getting more in depth why I chose specifically that part and how it's going to be used in the greater scheme of this build. So stay tuned and continue to watch. Thank you.